So welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Ryan, I'm a 4th year, 5th year sorry, medical student at Imperial College London doing a degree in management and I'm intercalating so I'm not actually at Imperial College, I'm at Newcastle University. Today's video is brought to you by Projects Abroad, thank you very much Projects Abroad for making this video possible, I will talk a little bit more about Projects Abroad at the end of this video. Now today's video is... <clears throat> the things I forgot to take on my medical elective. I realized this when I got there, that there was a few things that, yeah, I should have brought, but you know what, it is what it is. That's life, what can you do? Now, this video will be split into three things. The first is basic items. These are the things I actually forgot to take. The second is hospital items. These are things that I actually did take, like I'm, I'm not that incompetent. Health items, these are things that, yeah, some of them I took, some of them I didn't, and I realized the hard way. So, first of all, basic items. The first item, flask. I swear to you, this flask will save your life. I'll put a link in the description, but oh my goodness. Imagine, yeah, I'm out in a hot, these hot countries, I'm buying plastic water bottles constantly, every hour. I don't know how many fish and sharks and whales are dying out there in the oceans because of all the plastic I've been using, but bro, I need to stay hydrated because these hot countries are killing me. The plastic water bottles, I buy it, okay? I drink a little bit, half of it. Within half an hour, the rest of the water in there is hot, warm, hot. So then you have to buy another one the next hour and then another one the next hour. Whereas my friend starts to get a little bit clever and pulls out a flask that they left in their bag from two days ago filled with water two days ago and it's like just sipping on ice cold water and i'm thinking wait a minute do you mind if i try some and then i try it and i it's like you know when you taste heaven if ever it's like i never thought water tastes so good so good fresh ice cold water is the best thing in hot countries you do not understand until you're on your elective sweating buckets okay and i can't emphasize it to you until you go on your elective and you see for yourself so make sure you take a flask okay i hope i sold it to you the second thing man bag okay so i'm sure you know what a man bag is people call them fanny packs whatever okay they're just convenient bags okay you can put your passport a power bank your wallet your coins, your money. I even had some snacks in there just in case my blood sugars get low. And you know what actually? The third thing is a universal plug adapter. So I realized this when I went abroad and I had to have like three or four different plug adapters for every country that I was visiting. Whereas I was just looking online and but a universal plug adapter where you literally slide a button and a different country adapter comes out and I'm thinking, wow i could take one adapter all over the world well most parts of the world like probably not like north korea or like kazakhstan probably not but most parts of the world you can probably take this and you can have a working adapter for that country another thing is monzo and starling so actually i did remember to take this and i reminded my friends as well all of them to make sure they got on this monzo starling hype so Monzo, the problem with Monzo I found was that you're only allowed to withdraw £250 a month without transaction costs, okay? So £250 a month you can withdraw in an ATM abroad for free, which isn't much, right? With Starling, you can withdraw that amount or around £200 a day in an ATM abroad for free, which is like amazing and you get really, really good conversion like exchange rates and you don't have to pay commission on these exchange rates like the currency exchange shops i swear it's a win-win like and then you see everything on your app on the phone and it's just it's brilliant you know it's brilliant if you're young and you haven't got this then you're not young you're old maybe not old but i've even seen old people have, have it to be honest but just get it the next thing is an unlocked phone now the reason i say this is because in most countries my network provider gave me allowances abroad which is brilliant but there were two countries where i wasn't allowed it so canada and malaysia now in canada and malaysia it was a bit annoying because i had to buy a sim card 
But for me, okay, fine, it's not a problem. For my friends, they had to buy the SIM card, but their phone was locked to their own network provider, so they couldn't use a SIM card. Make sure you get your phone unlocked by your network provider in the UK before you go on your elective so that you have an unlocked phone so that you can have you can buy a cheap SIM card abroad and get data allowances abroad when you're traveling. Moving on to the next section, hospital items. Make sure you take a stethoscope because most of the countries are third world countries and that you're gonna to go to and they won't have stethoscopes, spare ones for you to use. You probably wanna steal your ones. That's what happened in my hospital. So you just keep it around your neck at all times. Lab coats, okay, unlike the UK, other countries actually need lab coats to go into the hospital and um, onto the wards. You can't go into the wards as a medical student or a doctor if you don't have a lab coat, so make sure you take one. Or scrubs, so some countries require you to take scrubs. So for me, one country required scrubs and the other required lab coats. And finally, the last one is a small pocket size um, reading book, um, just like I, the one that I recommend is Mind Maps for Medical Students, but people take the Oxford Handbook, but they're very small books and I put them in my man bag and when I go to the hospital, say I'm waiting for a doctor or I'm waiting for a patient, or I've got nothing to do, then I just open up my book and you can read, like you're not wasting your time and you can refresh your knowledge while you're waiting for that, for that doctor. So it works out really well. Finally, health items. Now I had to learn this the hard way sitting on toilets for hours on end and throwing up all of my intestines and I don't know if it was food poisoning if it was heat stroke or if I was just pregnant like it was I was struggling like really bad luckily the place that I was staying there was a Spanish doctor and um, she gave me some metoclopramide and honestly that changed my life and I just kept that close to me everywhere I went so make sure you take diary and vomiting tablets before you before you go because I'm telling you when you eat that dog meat in Vietnam I didn't but when you eat that dog meat in Vietnam and they don't tell you it's dog meat they tell you it's chicken hmm just expect this to go a little bit wild sun lotion okay make sure you take sun lotion why because brown people get skin cancer too no I'm joking that's that's not why but skin cancer is no joke okay I came back 10 shades darker okay so imagine some of my other friends who are ethnically Caucasian, they came back red. Make sure you take SPF 50 sun lotion so that you don't get sunburn and you don't get skin cancer. I stayed protected at all times and I still got myself a beautiful golden tan. So it was a win-win, do you know what I mean? But some of my friends, unfortunately for them, hmm, I couldn't say the same thing. And then the third thing is hand sanitizer. I went to the hospital in Vietnam. It's a hospital, okay? And then it's a toilet in a hospital, okay? So you expect some, uh, some level of hygiene. You expect, you expect like hand wash, okay? Okay, maybe not hand wash. If you can't afford that, then maybe soap. But if not soap, like they just had water in a hand towel. They expect water to just flush off all the bacteria on my hands. Like, just make sure you take some hand sanitizer because you never know when it will come in handy. That's probably why I got so much food poisoning. But you know what, I tell myself my immune system is stronger thanks to those wild nights in, in the toilet, man. Those are basically all of the things that I forgot to take, so make sure you take and don't make the same mistakes as me, otherwise you will struggle, mate. Just to tell you guys quickly a little bit about Projects Abroad. Now, the reason I went with Projects Abroad was because at the end of my year, I was struggling to organise my elective. I didn't have the time, I was focused on a lot of other things and I had a lot going on. And that's why Projects Abroad, they organised my elective from the hospital to the accommodation, to the food that I was going to be eating every day, to the transfers from the airport, someone coming to pick me up from the airport with my name on, Raihan Hussein, Projects Abroad. I was like, yeah, I'm sp I was thinking, yeah, I'm special, man. If you're thinking of doing your elective and you don't want the stress of balancing your exams and having to organise an elective, just go with projects abroad and they will organize everything for you and it makes your life a lot easier and that's why I went with them. And you can pick from so many different countries, like the opportunities are genuinely endless. So thank you guys for watching, make sure you like, comment and subscribe.